Welcome to the White Glove Demo for Domain. Klaus Teuber developed some of the ideas in Domain as part of the original concept for the Settlers of Catan, but it quickly became its own game. The game imagines you as a duke fighting to claim territory for yourself before the king returns to the land. Of course, the other players are trying to claim land as well, and even steal land from you. <laughs> no, Glover, we don't defend our land with guns. Let's just get to the rules. There are nine board pieces that fit into the frame for the game. The center tile always has the royal city, but its orientation and the position of the other eight tiles may change from game to game. The cards have letters on their backs, representing the order in which they will appear in the game. The A cards are shuffled and placed on top of the B cards, and so on. Depending on the number of players, you get knights in your color, seven gold ducats, and some starting castles, three for a four-player game. To begin, players take turns placing their castles on the board along with a knight. Castles must be placed on a light green meadow space, and the knight must go next to the castle on either a meadow or a forest space. Your castles must also be at least six spaces away from each other. Once your castles are out, you get a hand of three cards and you're ready to begin. On your turn, you will play a card in one of two ways and then draw a card in one of two ways. To play a card for its effect, you pay the amount of ducats shown in the upper left corner of the card. This card costs six ducats to play and lets you build three walls. When you build walls, you may build them anywhere, but you cannot build between knights or a knight and a castle. You'll want a domain as quickly as you can, and three walls is the minimum necessary if you've built in a corner. A domain is an area that is completely surrounded by either walls or the sides of the board. You get points for forests or cities inside your domain, and income for each different kind of mine that you have in your domains. Clever's little domain is only worth one point for the one forest, and we track the number of points earned along the edge of the board. Even a small domain is important early in the game, though, because of the expansion cards. These cards let you expand a domain two spaces in any direction, using walls from the supply to refence your domain. If you expand into a forest or city, immediately claim those points. You can expand into unowned land freely, but sometimes you'll have neighbors. Glover, you are not going to use bombs to defend your domain from your neighbors. You're going to use knights. That's not how knights work, Glover. Playing a knight card lets you build another knight in a meadow or forest next to one of your knights or a castle. If you build in a forest, pay one extra ducat. If you have more knights in your domain than your neighbor, you may expand into their domain. You'll quickly find yourself short on money, and you'll need to play a card for cash instead of for its effect. Each card has a number in parentheses in the upper right corner of the card. Instead of paying to play the card, you may sell the card for the amount at the right. Play sold cards in the chancery on the board edge. At the end of your turn, you draw a card into your hand, either from the deck or from the chancery. You can't pick up a card that you sold this turn. There are two cards that will come up later in the game, the Alliance card and the Deserter. If you play an Alliance card, choose a border between one of your domains and an opponent's domain. Turn a wall section sideways to show that there is now a truce between these two domains. These domains cannot expand into each other's areas. A deserter lets you take a knight from an adjacent domain and add a knight to your domain. Glover, where did you find nitroglycerin? Put that down! Slowly! Mines are not worth victory points, but they can be very important to your success in the game. For each different kind of mine you have in your combined domains, you receive one ducat at the beginning of each turn. You can earn up to four ducats every turn if you have all four types of mines in your domains. 
If you have three or more mines of one kind, it's worth five points. Of course, if someone steals mines or land from you, you can also lose points. The points you get for each game board element is shown on the board, including the five point Royal City. The game can end in one of two ways. If you ever reach the point target based on the number of players during the game, you win. Otherwise, the game ends when the last card is drawn from the deck and all cards in players' hands have either been played or sold. Once the deck is gone, you can't draw cards from the chancery at the end of your turn. Once all of the cards are played, the player with the most money left gets 5 points and second most gets 3 points. The player with the most points is the winner. And that's Domain, a fast, tense game of grabbing land and defending it from others. Did you like it, Glover? Glover, that's true.